Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Rogue Book. Uh, this is a roguelike deck builder, I'm going to be quiet for a bit. Long after the Chronicles of Gagana. If one were to look in a secluded place, forgotten ruins near the sacred forest hidden underneath the tallest trees in the world of Feria one would find the secret house of an old adventurer and in that small house there is a shop and in that shop there is a book Okay, so yeah, for some reason there are no subtitles for that intro, and you can't tell it to replay without just restarting the game, so it's kind of had to be quiet. <laughs> I believe the rest of the game there won't be any problems with, like, voice stuff that doesn't have proper subtitles, that should be fine. Just the intro. Anyway, uh, this is, this is a roguelike, uh, rogue, so, roguelite deck builder. Uh, it's very similar to games like Slay the Spire, Monster Train, uh, stuff like that. However, unlike those games, the progression, if I bring up, I think I can bring it up? No, I can't. Uh, I can't show you yet, but, um, like in Hades, you get upgrades that make the game easier, whereas in Slay the Spire and Monster Train, you just unlock new cards as you play, uh, rather than upgrading yourself. Um, but yeah, it's a very similar sort of game. It's got a few unique, uh, elements we're gonna have a look at. Uh, I haven't played this yet, uh, but I've seen... Uh, my housemate Lyra play a whole bunch of it, so I have a pretty good idea of what to expect here. Uh, we're just gonna dive in and take a look. Uh, you'll notice the book, uh, looks at me as I move my cursor around. Kind of funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just dive in, I suppose. I don't know if my face being in this corner is the best, we'll, we'll see. Again, I'm not too familiar with this game, I just sort of know what to expect, to a certain extent. Okay, we're in like a portal thingy, okay. We're in white screen. Ah. Good morning, stranger. Where am I? <sighs> My head hurts. Yeah. You have been sleeping for quite some time. My name is Nadim. You're both trapped within the road book. Let's not waste another minute. Take this. This is one of my brushes. Okay, so this part of the game is pretty much the main thing that distinguishes it from games like Slay the Spire. Outside of combat, in Slay the Spire you have like a tree of options you can go go with you can say i'd like to battle next or i would like to get a treasure next or whatever based on the path you take to get to the top but here it's more of like a hex crawler kind of exploration thing uh you hit your reveal areas using brushes and later there'll be ink and stuff that does similar things uh and yeah you can look around you reveal spaces on the map like that and then you can walk around and discover things. Little swords being battles, uh, and then there's like shopkeepers and stuff. And Sirocco. Uh, I should go see if he's okay. That's Sirocco, I suppose. Hello. Yo, Shara, where are we? We need to get out of here. I don't like the smell of this place. To explain more of this, explore more of this cursed book, you must harvest the very ink it is used to form its creations. A tricky task. Okay, yeah. So you do a battle, guaranteed reward, one random ink. So, let's click here. When we get into battle, it'll be mostly like Slay the Spire. 
It might take a while to load, apparently. There we go. Look out, they're attacking. You can see this is very similar to Slay the Spire. Uh, the main difference is that there are two of us, as you can see. No problem, we both go on the defensive, it won't even scratch us. So you can see, uh, we have some cards that belong to Shara. Uh, you can see they've got her in the art, and they're like, uh, silvery coloured. And then we've got some red ones here that belong to, uh, Sirocco instead. Uh, so if we block, block some more... Uh, you can see this one's got like a little turning around symbol. That's because if I play that, it will move Sirocco to the front. Uh, whenever you play a card that gains block, it moves that hero to the front. Oop, as you can see. Uh, we're out of stuff to do, so I'm just gonna end my turn. It's your turn! Alright, now we want to do some attacking. Now, now it's our turn to fight back. Okay, uh, so this card has charge, so it will move Shara back to the front. It's not, it doesn't really matter who's in the front right now, uh, there's a whole bunch of mechanics that depend on it, and usually the hero in the front is who gets attacked, but they're not attacking, so it doesn't really matter this turn. Boop. Yeah, that was a pretty easy fight. It's a tutorial. Makes sense. Continue. I got an ink! Well a wonderful display! I knew you would be the ones to help me get out of here! Be warned, many of the creations of the book will be much stronger than what you've just seen. Before going further, you should gather your belongings. By combining inks and skillful blush brush strokes, you're able to paint the paths you need. I will show you. Use your ink here. Throw the ink towards your treasures, you will see. Use. And yeah, you can pick different angles and stuff. Uh, I think that's what I want. Hmm. I'll stand in the newly painted area and use the brush to finish the job. Uh, and these would be like relics? Fortifying Brew. At the end of your turn, if Sirocco is leading, as in is the hero who's in the front, gain two block. If Shara is leading, she gains three power. That's like strength inside the spire, it's just how much damage you do in it with attack. Now, it is time to venture beyond the gate. The gate requires two souls to open. You cannot venture in alone. Passing it through it will create a new story. You must fight your way through. So yeah, we start a run by opening that gate. <laughs> I shouldn't know two levers because it's like the two souls. Two players. To finish this story, you must defeat the creatures that have been painted to guard the portals leading to other worlds. One of these portals may just lead us out of here. I have been trapped here for some time, but lack the strength to push on. I will help guide you and provide you with supplies. Visit me and I will help as I can. Uh, so the way this works, uh, to gain new cards to your deck, you actually have to pay for them uh, with these Vaults of Wisdom. Uh, let me see. I think I want an ally. Uh, allies, uh, they're kind of like power cards in Slay the Spire. Uh, they don't take, like, allies can't take damage directly, they just sort of hang out like, as status effects, almost. Uh, but yeah, let's get one and see how we go. We do... We do have some brushes, but let's try to start with this battle and see how we go. Good to have my sword back. I deal more damage when I'm in front. When Shara's done attacking, I should move block to move forward. I'll boost our defenses. Uh, block is shared, like, there's one block for both characters, so you can, like, build up block between them and have it have it apply to both. We are going to take some damage here. 
But I wanted to play my ally card and see what happens, so... It's a little damage, so it's not a huge deal. We got a dagger! Stax can stack multiple copies of itself in your hand. Don't discard the stack at the end of the turn. After playing this card, remove it until the end of battle. Cards with Dissolve cannot be copied in battle. So Dissolve is the same as, I think it's Exhaust in Slay the Spy. It's actually a different keyword. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's charge and attack for 12. Good stuff. We don't have a way to swap, so Soraka's in the front again, so we will take a bit of damage. <laughs> and we are out of options to attack with, so I guess we'll block. <laughs> Yeah, you can see this is quite similar to games like Slay the Spire. Just got slightly different mechanics here and there. Bam! There we go. Ah, uh, what did we get? We got some money, and we got Royal Ink. Reveal five spaces in a straight line. Hey, Rune of Sight reveals a random item on the map and all adjacent tiles. Okay, we got a scroll or something over there. That might be good. I want to go and find out what it, what it is. Narrative. Encounter a story from the world Faria? Fa Faria? The hero has come across a statue of a forgotten protector. It does not move, but its eyes seem to be fixed on whoever approaches. Okay, so we get we can get a uh, get a gargoyle or a guardian, and that's an ally. Uh, aggressive allies uh, will attack like automatically; they'll attack the person in front. Yeah, deal damage puts ally spirit to front enemy at the end of your turn. Yeah. Um, I think this one might be more effective. Gonna get the sword. Okay, so we can. Skip that elite battle and just go directly to the boss if we want, but I think our deck is probably too weak right now for that to be a good idea. Seems that not everything we paint can be explored. These areas feel heavier. I think they are obstacles that will block our path. You found a golden fairy to taking control of your brush. Chase it away. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get to that in a moment. Big pile of gold over there. Uh, Goki is very expensive. If there's a way to make that ally a bit cheaper, that might be good. Uh, activate basically means you can tap them uh, to spend one spirit and get their effect. So, spending three mana to get two mana twice is okay, but it's not fantastic. Force Master is a lot better. Uh, thousand Cuts is very good. Uh, I might go for Thousand Cuts. Okay, let's talk to the fairy. Hello, little fairy. So, the fairy won't attack us, uh, but we get gold if we based on the amount of damage we do. So, we want to do as much damage as possible, basically. Hmm. I think the dagger might be better, better strategically. I 
escape, we actually beat the fairy, so as well as getting 100 gold for doing 100 damage, we get an extra 50, which is nice. Okay, we can now use our brush again. Oh, another narrative. The adventurers find a strange and complicated machine. A mix of robotic and organic sounds emitted by the device catches their attention. Trans oh, we can transform a card. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, in this game, you actually cannot thin your deck. Like in Slay the Spire and Monster Train, you can pay to remove a card you don't want in your deck. In this game, you can't do that. Uh, there are just ways to turn cards into other cards. Uh, which is good, because a lot of these cards are pretty garbage. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, one of our basic strikes, I reckon. Confirm. Combo. Gain one courage. Yeah, yeah, that, that might be useful. Jara steps forward and operates the strange machinery. Before long, they appear to be entranced in some kind of spell. Jara interfaces with the device in a familiar manner. You would think they had been working with such technology their entire life. They step away, they seem slightly changed. Okay, does Shara use they, them, or is, is this just written to be generic so it doesn't matter which character does it? Because, <laughs> like, that would be super cool. Hmm. I want to get to this sky tower so I can get a better look around. Uh, I'm running out of brushes now, which is not great. Uh, let's see if during this combat, a random ink. Hmm. Put that other one. You can just pan around with the wasid like this. Oh. Let's have a little thing here. Oh, hang on. I can draft a card over here. Let's do that first. Whenever the heroes swap, deal damage to all enemies equal to its allies' spirit. Impact. Second enemy for 12, adjacent enemies for 6. Attack for 0. Whenever the heroes swap, increase this card's damage by 3. Uh, we're not doing a lot of swapping, so this is probably our best bet right now. Just getting impact. Uh, let's take on this battle and see how that goes. Uh, let's see. War of Weakness, 30% less attack damage. I think that just cancels out the power I get from this, I think. Okay, we're gonna need to do some blocking now. Uh, let's see. It's still going to take damage, but a bit less. We do 12 with that, but then we can't really do any more damage. There we go. Let's block everything. And let our little gargoyle here actually do, do the work of damaging things. There we go. That was fun. Uh, let's see, we got some gold, we got some ink. Oh, another healing. Okay, uh, I think we're- I think we're at a point of diminishing returns if we keep, like, fighting, so I might just use these- one of those to heal up and then try the boss battle. We'll see how we go. <laughs> twenty. <laughs> hmm, Sirocco, is that who I think it is? I was about to ask you the same, seems like this book has driven him completely mad. I assume it's someone they know, but I, I don't I don't know who it is. <laughs> okay, let's see, we've got one block. Um Darko has more health as well, so you put him in the front. Oh yeah, that's actually better. Okay, then we'll do this. And then we'll do this. Okay, yeah. Now we won't take any damage because we're blocked. Uh 
Uh, we're going to play this card because a combo, uh, you get it for free. Uh, you see, you get one extra energy next turn. Uh, because I played Zorakos card first, this is free. This is very helpful. Okay, we're going to take quite a hit now. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. There, we now have four energy because of the courage. Uh, we're going to play our Outlaw. We're going to play Thousand Cuts. We're going to play Impact. The enemy's just going to use a buff, so we don't need to worry about defending. Okay, we got daggers now. Hmm, I, I, I'm kind of wishing I'd gotten the things that give you bonuses for swapping, because we're doing more swapping than I anticipated. <laughs> I believe the dagger will, yeah, stay in our hand and we can just stack them up. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's probably better. And some courage. A little impact. Uh, let me see. We just want to build up the daggers a bit more for now. Yeah, we're going to take quite a bit of damage there. But you get healed at the end of a boss fight, so it doesn't super matter if we take some damage. And use a debuff, alright. to defend because debuffs don't get blocked. 37? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna need some block. I can't get any more, so I guess we'll do this. Oh! Damn it, he stopped too much energy. I didn't think that through. <laughs> Thousand Cups would have been very good. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, we'll be okay. We'll be fine. I think. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Impact. High five. Thousand cups. Ah! Where am I? Victory. Continue. Okay, so this thing. Uh, the file of rejuvenation, it just heals you to full. There we go. Get a treasure. Uh, Carlin's Prayer. We can draw more cards. Okay, Cleaver. Hmm. Each ally gains one spirit. I am using a couple allies, but this is probably better. Token of Heroism. Oh yeah, you can either have a gem, which lets you upgrade a card with extra extra features. Uh, or you can take all these cards, which are quite good. Hmm. Take a new brush. Actually, five of them. Uh, a stack of pages. So pages are... Uh, they're like... um. They're like darkness in Hades. They're the between, uh, between runs currency. Whenever a hero is at or below fifty life, they gain three power. I think I want to put that on. Hmm. I, I think I want that on. There. How long? How long have I been here? Well, we don't know, but we're here to help. It seems we like we are all stuck in this place. Come with us. We could use your strength. Very well. We consider this a temporary alliance. Okay, I've unlocked a new character we can play as on later runs. Lost in the Oversky, Chapter 2. Arrived among the floating islands of the Oversky, watch your step. 
Ancient primal magic keep these islands above the clouds. They are chained together so as not to float away from one another. The creatures here are normally docile, but have become agitated by the rogue book. Find your way carefully. Well, let's get a new card. Uh... I think more block would be good, so smoke bomb might be a good one. But also, I do want to go more into allies if I can. Let's have a quick look. Uh... Yeah, I've got more card draw already. Let's go with the smoke bomb. Oh god, there's so many of them. Uh, we should be fine, actually, because we have impact. Uh... Hmm. You have a sizable amount of damage to all of them, like that. A bit of block. We want to get a bit more. Nope, but we can activate another ally, so that's nice too. Ooh. Oh, that one's got stealth, so I can't actually target them. Okay. Then the gargoyle will take them out. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I can take a bit of damage from the flames and stuff, though. Oof. Okay. Yeah, we just want to take you out, so bam. <laughs> Victory! We took a decent amount of damage there, though. Jeez. That one's very expensive, uh, but very good, because that there are spirit doubles every turn. That's their attack power, uh, so it, it goes up and up and up and up. Mm. Buckle up might be good, too. I don't know if I can afford to pay to play the Bullfrog Berserker with the build I have. I don't really have a way to reduce the cost of things, and I don't have more than three uh, mana per turn, so... Let's go with Buckle Up. Oh, right, Talent Tears. Hang on, how do I activate those? Is it this? Yeah. Okay, so as you collect more cards, you unlock more talents. The game wants you to either have a really small deck for consistency, or to keep making your deck bigger so you can unlock this stuff. Each hero has a unique set of talents. Like one talent in each row. Collect more cards to unlock more rows. We can start the battle with three daggers. The first attack Soroko makes each turn against five power. Well, allies cost one less. Uh, I can reduce the cost of that ally I just got, so let's do that. Rocco's leading, draw a card. Whenever you swap, Shara gains one power this turn. First hit of the battle deals bleed, inflict to one third of the I think momentum is what I want. Okay, let's see how we go. I'm gonna reveal this. I'd like that. I'd like that. I'd like that. I'd like that. Gem of growth. This ally gains one spirit. Uh, that's not a super good gem, but I could put that on one of my one of my allies, and it might be good. Ish. I don't think I have any allies that I can use it on. 
Yeah, Outlaw doesn't have spirit, so I can't increase their spirit, and the ge the Gargoyle is not actually a card, so I can't put any gems into it. Gaia's Grace? What does that do? Against two defend cards, I got zero. I think I want this top one. Would any saw have to bite into such wood? I thought things blasphemous. It looks like its head catapulting a flood of irritated but colourful birds into the air. No blade of this age, pleased to say. What's guys, Grace? Gain five block, draw a card, dissolve. Okay, that is good. I do want that. I wish it told me what it did beforehand. I'm not sure why it didn't. That was a bit strange. Let's get some more cards. Drop the card. Uh, let's see. Balloon fish. Pop your heroes and draw a card. Focus. Start your turn. Next turn, draw two shower cards. Gain two energy and move shower to the front. Back 15, retreat. Can we play Boshara is leading? Uh, that would be boosted a little more because of the Sword of Destiny. So that might be good. This also might be good because I can swap my heroes more often. Uh, let's try Kickflip, which also swaps my heroes because it makes Shara retreat. Ranged combo, gain one energy. Okay, so this card is free if you play Sirocco's card first and he's in the front. Because Shara will be in the back and therefore the ranged thing will reduce the cost by one. Plus because you played a Sirocco card, the combo reduces the cost by one as well. So you just gain energy for free, basically. Ooh, hang on. Exotic Pet sounds good too. Back one for 12. For each enemy hit, gain 4 block. Hmm. I think Whirlwind is what I want. Oh, no, don't do that. Ah, damn it. Put it in the wrong spot and wasted the brush, basically. What are you going to do? A buff. Okay. I'm going to attack you to begin with. And you're not attacking. Now you're attacking. Shower in the front. I actually do want her to get a little, a little bit lower life so that her power goes up. Might be a bit more lo lower life than I intended, but yeah, that kind of worked. What are you trying to do? Buff again? Okay. Courage, or block. Draw some cards. I think I just want some more block again.
get a stack of 19. And we're, we're through. Okay. Victory! <laughs> Actually, yeah, if I do this, wander over here and go. Boop. There we go. The heroes come up across an ogre dance party. The nearest ogre shows the heroes a fellow ogre. Come join in the festivities. I can't give them a cookie or a soup, so I guess I'll do a dance. Both cards, so Rocco plays each turn is free. Alright. Thanks, ogre dance. Uh, Warcry, both heroes gain two power at the end of your turn. Wild Swing, discard your, your hand attack with six times the number of cards discarded. Hmm. I don't have anything that wants to be discarded, so Wild Swing might not be super good. Go with Warcry. If our fellow here is something Nadim is selling anything of interest. Can make some use of this. Let's see. Windstone Colossus. Whenever the heroes play a card, decrease the cost of Windstone Colossus by one. That may be good. Um the attack is zero five times. I assume that gets buffed. You have to buff that up to make it useful. cards in turn game block equal to their combined cost. Ooh, that sounds good. When this hero blocks gain one more block. I think I want to get the Windstorm Colossus and see if I can make that work. And let's try the cloak. Okay, let's try taking on that boss now. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these. Maybe a few. Nice. Yeah, that's probably good. Let's see how we go. Boss fight! Um, hello! Yeah, that's enough. Okay, the Windstorm Colossus now costs four. I'm getting close to being able to actually play it. Ooh, whenever the heroes play a card, discard and redraw their hand. Nasty. Attacking, so buckle up's not very good right now. I think I want charge. And outlaw. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Inflict vulnerable and tripped, then swap the heroes before attacking. Ooh. Okay.
think vulnerable is going to make us take more damage than I would like. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Windstorm Colossus now costs zero. Let's just put it out. There we go. <laughs> oh, Scramble Beam. Oh, gosh. Uh, let me see. What does Trip to do? Oh, the first card they play each turn costs one more. Oh, that's not good. You're going to do 40 damage, so I'm going to want to block that. Uh, let's see here. And defend. You're gonna take quite a hit. Uh, be here. And we're out of turn. Out of moves, yeah. Okay, we're doing alright. Yeah, we took a little damage, but we're okay. What are you doing now? Gain four power. Okay, that's not too big a deal. Headbang, combo, hip flip. I don't have any blocks in hand, so we're just gonna have to take the damage, I think. <sighs> okay. You are, what are you doing? Reduce by block by 10 before attacking, but you're not actually going to attack, so. I'm not going to bother blocking. <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, I should have done this first. That was a mistake. Give me two more cards, please. Laser. Okay, now they're just... Oh, they're not attacking again. They're still blocking. Alright. <laughs> Go off, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna play Buckle Up. I'd really like to swap if I can. I have keep... Doesn't look like it. Alright. Scramble Beam again. Take a pretty he heavy hit there, but we should be okay. Please give me cards that allow me to swap my characters around. <laughs> oh my goodness. is going to go down, but that's actually okay. You can have one party member get killed. And if it's during a boss battle, it's not even that, that big a deal. Uh... Oh. Oh no. I didn't realize they could attack again and hit the other one. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, if one party member goes down, you get wounds in your deck, uh, which you can't get rid of. They're just like dud cards, uh, but they go away when you beat a boss. So it would have been okay if he hadn't attacked twice. I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh no. You can see we've got some experience for the party uh, and for the individual people we're playing as. Uh, when these fill out, you unlock more cards for them, uh, like in Slay the Spire or Monster Train. I've also got two pages. Continue. Let's do another run. Uh, you can see what we're working with there. Can I go to... No, I can't go to embellishments yet. I must need some more pages. Let's do another run. Turned. It seems the book is not ready to let your story end yet. But you've gathered some of its pages on your journey. We can use them to rewrite this story to our advantage. We will use the book's own powers against it. These are embellishments to your story in the road book. You can use pages you found so far to add permanent upgrades to your heroes. Collect more pages by exploring the road book. You earn more pages by defeating the road book and playing at higher difficulty. Then the inscribe embellishments between runs. Uh, we can actually afford this, so let's do that. Uh, and then we've got only one page left and can't do anything. Uh, let's try taking this guy instead. Try if I can call him the many devils he has bound to his will, forcing them to fight under his command. If they fail to please him, he's not above entering the fray himself. By transforming into a frightening devil, he can unleash devastating blows and powerful magic on those unfortunate enough to stand in his way. Yeah, let's give him a try. Temporary alliance. Ugh. Are you sure you're strong enough to fight alongside me, little girl? I'm a misogynist. Hey, Shara, I can partner with him if you'd rather not group up with that jerk. I kind of want to see what Shara's description is, so I'm going to swap people around a little bit. Sorocco is versatile. His bulky body can shield allies from harm, or his powerful legs can allow him to leap into the back lines to flatten opponents that hide. When his half ogre strength is not enough, Sorocco uses various items he has gathered during his travels. His potions, flaming oil, and grenades make him a formidable fighting force. Uh, I'm going to replace uh, Shara. Now I can see what her description is. Shara is aggressive, relying on lightning quick strikes to run down her, her enemies before they can act. Working together with other heroes brings out the best in Shara, making her cards cheaper and providing the defense she needs to fight in the front lines where she does the most damage. I kinda wanna see what this guy does and I kinda wanna play as Shara, but I don't... I hate him. <laughs> I hate him already. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, it always maps out the path to the, the boss, so in theory you can always get there if you run out of ink or whatever. Uh, Flame Blast attack at 14. That is good. Charge, attack for 12. Whenever you add a card to your deck, this gains one attack permanently. Ooh. Attack for 15. Okay, so uh, Scythe has some pretty neat cards here. I'm not sure what the a version it's showing next to it is? Is that like a corrupted version of the card or something? When so oh, when Scythe gains 25 rage, his next card will use this empowered mode. Okay, so he has to take damage and then he'll use one of these. Like, better versions. I'm gonna try Dark Temper because I'm gonna try to add lots of cards to my deck and see how that goes. Uh, what are you selling today? I don't have any money yet, but... Oh, we can get Horse Master. 10,000 cuts. Hmm... Okay, I'll keep in mind what you've got here. I might come back later. Ahem. Uh, let's start this battle. Two of them, huh? Okay, so the guy in the back is attacking first, so... Let's get rid of that guy. There we go. That number at the bottom, that's my rage, I'm pretty sure. Charge, attack for 16, reap, heal, life. Oh! Does something when an attack from this kills a non-summoned enemy. Neat. Uh, let's see. We can gain 12 blocks, so I might just do that. Uh, 
Oh, no, there we go, that worked. Okay, yeah. When you hover over end turn, it gives you a preview of the effect that will happen, so it looked like that, like, Defend of Zero, I thought something was glitched, but no. It was just the exact right amount. Uh... I wonder if my rage carries over between battles. I guess we'll find out. Yeah! Victory! Uh, let me see. Back for five, the next hit on the enemy is a critical hit, so I take double damage. Ritual Strike, Melee, Combo. So, it costs one energy less if you're in the front, and another energy less if uh, the other hero played the last card. So it costs two instead of four. Cast Devil? The Brute. Oh, the Spirit. That might be good. Let's put that in and see how we go. Mm, yes, please. End of your turn. If this is in your hand, gain one block. The main feature of that is that it gives you retain, really. Like, I'm not sure what I would put it on. Maybe absorb soul. Give it a try. Suitable. There we go. You can see some cards have two slots for gems. Some only have one, so you can't always upgrade them as much as you might like. Sky Tower! Hey, give me that ink. Give me that gold and that ink. Two genders. What is that? Yak Hide. Each turn gain three block. I mean, that sounds good, but also kind of hard to get to. Hmm. What if I go here? I use the Noble Ink this way. I'm gonna use a brush. There we go. What's over there? What have you got for me, Vault of Wisdom? Spinning blade. Attack all enemies for four twice, up to four times if it's powered up. Charge. Attack the leading enemy for eight, three to five times. Let's try it. Let's just get a flame blast, I think. Get some pages. And we can also drop another card. Lacerate. Infli attack for four, inflict floor bleed. And get another outlaw. Or Furic Barrier. Gain seven block and seven rage. That might be good. Talent tier has been unlocked because I got the right number of cards. Damage from allies inflicts one bleed. When you add a dagger to your hand, add twice as many. Whenever you use a brush, you feel three extra adjacent spaces at random. Hmm. Do I have allies in my deck already? I think... Yeah, the brutes are allies. But there's not a whole lot of other allies yet. I also don't have a way to get daggers. I think Wayfarer might be the strongest option of those. We'll see how we go. Oh, hello, Ink. That looks oh, hello, Golden Fairy. What if we can do enough damage to get all the money out of you? Uh, a thousand cuts. Charge, attack for nine. Both heroes gain two power. That sounds good. Give me Shimmer Strike. Uh, what's over here? Robold Tactics. Uh, there's another cast Devil. 
I, I think I want to go into allies, so we'll see how we go. can't inflict bleed to these guys, so the fact that I have inflict bleed doesn't really do anything. Uh, me two damage. Should play Shimmer Strike first, clearly. Yep, that'll do it. The ally will punch and, and they'll take out that last little bit. Excellent. Victory! See? <laughs> Yeah, we are out of brushes, so we would have to fight the elite if we wanted to get through here. Except that we can actually just use our ink from over here in order to get through. What the best direction to do it in is, though. I'll do. Okay. Have we here? Mark. Attack with five thanks hits a critical hit. 16 block lose some life. Gain four block plus two additional block for each dagger in your hand. We don't have dagger gain yet, but I feel like we probably want to go into it, so... Uh, we can get an ally that actually gives us daggers. Uh, I think... No, we can't. It's a horse master, which does not give us daggers. But which one it was. <laughs> uh... What if you dissolve a card, gain block, melee card? Call to arms might be good if we have a lot of allies going on. We can like, wrap them up basically. Let's get that and that and see how we go. Beat of fire. Whenever the hero swaps, life against three rage. Every time, every three times your character swap, gain energy. Start of each turn, gain four block. Ends once you shuffled your deck. Uh, I think I want Feet of Fire. Make, make it easier to get into Rage. Okay, let's go to the boss and see how we go. I wonder if it'll be another character, or if that only happens sometimes. Uh, this feels a little culturally insensitive. J just a little. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, he's now enraged, so his power will be powered up. His strikes don't actually get upgraded. Interesting. Four of those. I think I'll let him get hit again.
getting enraged again. Boost up our spirit even more. There we go, that wasn't that hard. Granted, it's a chapter one boss, so it's not pretty supposed to be that hard. Uh, yep, I'll have that. Treasure, energy store between turns. I'm gonna deal less than eight damage, deal eight damage. The first time, I'm, uh, I think I want the flute. I gain seven block, or I can gain five block. Ten charge. I think I want the cards, because I want my deck to be a bit thicker. Okay. Face to face. At the end of each turn, if Cypher is leading, he gains 5 rage. Once per battle, click on Shire to attack the leading enemy 15 and retreat. Above turn 5, the heroes gain 3 power, I think. I think Alacrity might be good, uh, because that gives me another way to swap, uh, which causes Cypher to gain rage. Although he gains rage at the end of the turn, but swapping is also good. I think I might go with Alacrity and see how that goes. Lost in the Oversky, Chapter 2. Hopefully this time I don't suck at it. <laughs> uh, let's go to the Vault. What do you got here? Grim Siphon, attack for 20. Oh, when you're enraged, it heals for 20 and dissolves. Interesting. Tackle enemies for 10, Saf loses 5 life. Whenever the hero swap you out, I do want that. Windstorm Charger. Because we're swapping a lot, that's a really good card to have. Uh... Uh, I do, I do want the scissors, that would be really good. They're expensive though. Oh, I see, it was full rage attack for 60. That is good. Hmm. Expensive though. Okay, let's have a bit of a look around and see what we can find here. Oh, it's a Froggo! Hello, Froggo. So, uh, this guy has Fairy Protection. They, you need to hit them ten times, basically. Because they only lose one life for each hit. something like that going. Good stuff. Over there, there's a gem, which would be nice to have, but it's also quite far. Uh, 
Cast Devil, we've already got plenty of those. Retain, gain zero rage. Rage equals the size of your draw pile. Lacerate, I think I want bleed, that sounds good. Oh, what? Let's just... Oh! Oh no, F Figaro the Thief stole one of my treasures. I want that. Come back here, Figaro the Thief. So you get your treasure back, you also get an extra treasure, which is nice. Give an ally one spirit. If it's aggressive, give it four spirit instead. Ooh. That sounds really good. Okay. Quite expensive in terms of brushes, but I do want to get a gem if I can. Game 15 block, the card costs one more. Hmm. Okay, what do I have that costs nothing? Something like parry? Yeah, I can boost parry up to have a lot more block by just making it cost one, so that might be good. There we go. Let's head back to the shop and oh, hang on. Here first. Warcry, uh, bravery, range gain seven block and two courage, entrench, melee gain ten block or twenty five block. With war cry. Oh, new talent here. Boiling blood. At the start of each battle, you gain 10 rage. Whenever you take damage, you gain two stacks of courage. Play each battle with a storyteller. That's another ally. They're not aggressive, but they might be useful because they give us card draw. Uh, let me see. What did I want from here? This has definitely changed over time. Oh. Let's see. Uh, I think I want the Horse Master so I can get more, more allies going on. Let's see how we go. We're still out of inks. Uh, do a battle so we can get one. Here we go. Uh, hello. Whenever this takes damage, you lose two power this turn. Okay, that's very helpful. There we go, they're now doing no damage.
Nice. I believe six is the maximum, so our deck is more or less uh, at its most powerful state at the moment. Although we can boost, you know, how much damage these guys do with extra spirit increasing cards and stuff like that. So. Okay, got some noble ink. I think what we probably want to do is just go here ish and just do that so we can get to the boss battle. Let's go! <laughs> oh, it's this guy again. Just deleting here his power by three, huh? Alright. What are you doing now? Vulnerable and tripped. Okay. Oh yeah, tripped makes it cost more. What about that? Ah, <sighs> okay. damage to attackers. Okay, so when a, ca a character dies, uh, it adds five of these cards to your deck. Revive Song. You have to play all five of them and then they just come back with half health, basically. Oh, I didn't notice the scrambling beam. Oh, that's gonna be a thing. Okay, Shara's back. That's not half health, that's quite a bit lower, but uh, close enough. <laughs> Alright, uh, again, yeah, turn. We got uh, reflect damage. Charis down again. That's okay though. We're managing. Getting there, getting there. Yeah, they're not scrambling, so I'm just gonna play all these Shara songs first.
20 damage. That, I will survive that, but not by much. Uh... Oh. Right, they, they inflicted weakness and then... Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game yet. You may, not, may have noticed. Okay, it's been a bit over an hour, so... The continue button seems a little... Hmm. Doesn't seem to work super well. <laughs> I think I lost against the same boss twice in a row, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Same boss. Huh. Impression. Embellishments. Yeah, I can afford some more embellishments now. Uh, alchemists are good, uh, because that's the closest you can get to removing bad cards from your deck. For healing. Oh, yes, I want that. I didn't know you had to buy those. Uh, that's how you get more than one, more than three energy per turn. You find these and you get an extra, make an extra energy each turn. Uh, yeah, let's go for the wells, and... Alchemists, and... Treasure, yeah. You can switch it back off if you want. That's interesting. Okay, uh, I think I'm probably about done for now, so yeah. You get an idea of how this game works. It's very similar to Slay the Spire, but it's a little different, and it's interesting in the way it's different. Um, I do think it maybe is somewhat culturally insensitive, uh, and it should have subtitles on the intro. I don't know why it doesn't, and I don't know why one of the playable characters is a gigantic dick. Like, what's the, what's the point of that? What does that achieve? Who are you? Who are you helping? <laughs> uh, but like the game itself is is a lot of fun. Uh, there's clearly like some interest, a lot of interesting combinations you can do. Uh, like in similar games, like Slay the Spire, like Monster Train, you you're learning the available cards and trying to strategize based on what cards are offered to you, which is really interesting. Um, I think it may make more sense if the game just offered you a card after each battle the same way Slay the Spire does. Um, like, you know, pick a card from three sort of thing, rather than specifically requiring you to go and buy cards from the Wells of Hard. Uh, it's a bit weird. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Shara seems pretty cool. I like Shara. Uh, Soraka seems pretty cool as well. I like, I like Soraka. This guy's a dick. Uh... Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I haven't got any, any of these wins. I haven't got any wins at all yet. Oh yeah, it's just talking about the parties I've gone with. Okay. I think the compendium, yeah, you can see all your cards you've unlocked in here. I guess there's one more hero in the game because there's a space there. Ah, uh, the types of gems I've seen. Oh, we have to unlock flash gems? Okay. Uh, flash gems... Uh, basically... Like, I can't really demonstrate it because I haven't got them unlocked yet, but I've, I've seen the game being played, so I know what they do. Uh, if I can highlight it, that would be nice. Uh, there we go. Flash gems. Powerful gems that can only be used once. So the idea is, in the middle of the battle, you might take a flash gem that says something like, and I draw more three more cards or gain 30 block or something super good like that, and just stick it on one of the cards you're about to play. Uh, it's kind of the equivalent of potions, because this game doesn't have that, uh, like Slay the Spire does. Uh, you got to unlock them, apparently. So I guess I'll get that eventually, but yes, that is a thing that this game has that's similar. Uh... <sighs> Um, but yeah, that's this game. Uh, uh, looks like fun. Um, I do think there's room for improvement here. Uh, the things I've mentioned, basically. Uh, but as, you know, a roguelite deck builder, it's a lot of fun. And 
I have enjoyed it thus far, even though I'm not super good at it yet. That's kind of normal for this kind of game. You have to learn the decks and your strategies and stuff before you become really good. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!